So I'm going to demonstrate in this video how I make my Lego animations for you guys. I use Corel Video Studio and a Logitech QuickCam Pro for notebooks. And I can show you what that looks like here. So this is basically what it looks like and it has a little LED built-in microphone and a very good lens. It's got a clip on the back so I can clip it onto my Lego sets and view from a bunch of places. So that'll help. And then you will need to open up the CD that comes with it. Logitech Quick Cam sidebar here. Go to this top one which is Quick Capture. Now this is the better quality way. There's also a way in your application, Corel Video Studio or ULED Video Studio that you can capture images with. However, that is not as good quality. So, here it's coming up. Now I'm just going to select HD and put my little Lego person. go to settings and you want manual focus now I have this little Lego guy with a sword and uh, over on the right there uh, brightness contrast and color intensity default they'll be a little tiny bit to the left and if you move them just a little bit to the right where these are then you'll have some of the best quality you can get with this camera and right there you can see that also you will need lighting so if I just turn on my overhead light here that helps okay so all I'm gonna do is click take photo and then it takes the photo there you can see it and now I'll move it a little bit take the next photo and I'm just gonna keep on doing this until I get one full swing of the sword. Now this is doing very small movements which will make your videos much smoother and it takes longer to develop these and edit them but the overall quality of the video will be extremely superb. And that's all I'm going to do for this demonstration going to close this window and close that. Now open up Corel Video Studio and we're at edit here so I'm going to go to image and add in go to my pictures and quick pan. So I'll go down to what I just took, open all of those, and there you go, you can see displaying each, and just drag it right in there. So now we have all the pictures that I just took. Now click on one, go up to where it says image duration, and click the certain amount of time that you want it to display for. So I'll choose three parts out of 30 for a second. This does not count 60 parts per second, it counts 30 parts per second. So, in other words, this is about 10 frames each second. And as you can see, I'm hitting 3 and then 0. go we have all those so now let's just play this back and that's all you have all right so now we'll add a little bit of audio by going up to this tab we'll scroll down and get a sword slashing sound all right 
So this one sounds good. We'll put that into the voice track. And just put it right there. Okay. Now we'll go up to mm, maybe I can find some music here. We'll use this victory theme. And you can shorten it by just clicking on the yellow. Okay, we'll move it over there. And let's play back the project so far. And you have to go through it one time so it can just load everything and then it'll play back. So you can also copy all of these if you want to and you can't paste them in here though so you have to go over to images again and then down all the way and get them all and put them in again so I'm not going to do that and that is what you need for that part now titles you just click on the title tab and on the right there's a bunch of options you can do double click and put in your title and now I am going to go to color and then put a black frame right there and then put title so now I have a nice little intro-ish thing and I can move my sound back over here and then I'll show there so and you'll need credits which are extremely important you can have scrolling credits or just give credits like this and that's gonna put it right there you don't need a color frame for this because it's automatically black so let's see what we've got. And that's that's what we have so far. So that's all you have to do and you just keep on adding more frames and more frames until you have an entire video. Do not upload something that is like I'm just going to say less than 10 seconds long that's not a good idea uh, you should not put in two second tests of moving characters or something that's not going to do anything or help anyone and that's, that's all you need to do